Hi guys, this is John here. In today's class, we will look at the basic construction of a drone. So here in front of us, we have a Pluto drone from Drona Aviation. So I'll be showing you the different parts of the drone. And I will also be giving you certain fundamentals of how this drone works. So let's get started. So first, let me introduce you to the different parts of the drone. So this part here, as you see, this part here is called as the frame of the drone. So here we have the frame. So this is the skeleton of the drone that effectively holds the drone together. Then on this frame, you have what we call as a controller. So this circuitry that you see is the controller and this has the processor and different sensors. So you can call this as the brain of the drone. So effectively it tells the drone and it controls the drone how to move. And in here you also have a Wi-Fi chip which helps you to connect with your mobile phone. So if you want to connect your mobile phone with your drone, so you have a Wi-Fi chip here and it also has a processor. Now this processor is where your code, the coding that you do sits on the drone. And then there are some motion sensors which help balance the drone. So this is what we call as the controller. Now what you see here, this is the battery. So let me just quickly pull out so this is the battery and the battery provides the controller with power and also the motors. So now let me introduce you to the motors. So the motors look like this. So we have four motors as you can see. And on top of each motor, we have something called as a propeller. The motor and propeller connect with each other and the propeller then rotates. So this motor is connected to this controller board as you can see and through the wiring we can effectively control the amount of speed that this motor will rotate this propeller. So now let's get back to our basics again. So we have the frame we have the controller board, we have the battery, we have the four motors, we have the four propellers and these are my propeller guards or also called as prop guards. So they prevent my propellers from getting damaged in case my drone hits a surface. So my propellers are protected here. So the Prop guards take care of the propellers. So these were the basic parts of your drone. Some drones also have what we call as a canopy. So a canopy is like a roof that sits on top of the drone. So some drones come with canopies. Some drones are completely covered. So that depends from drone to drone. But all your drones will have a frame it's also called as chassis sometimes we'll have a controller board we'll have battery we'll have your motors we'll have propellers and we'll have prop guards and you'll have different structures of the drone now let me explain to you what each part does again in a little more detail so your frame basically is the structure on which all the different parts of your drone sit. So it's like the skeleton. So the skeleton of your body supports and gives structure to all the organs. Then you have the four motors. The motors together with the propellers, when the propellers rotate, it gives the drone lift. And in the next lecture, I will explain to you how a propeller generates lift. So that's a separate lecture we will take a look at. 
So the propellers are connected to the motors and depending on the amount of current, so this current is supplied by the controller and the power to the controller is provided by the battery. So let me repeat this again. The battery provides the power to the controller and the controller provides the current to each of these motors and the controller is able to control the current that comes to this motor. So more the current here. So if we supply more current here, the speed of rotation is more. And this speed of rotation is called RPM or revolutions per minute. So it's called RPM. So the number of revolutions. So let me call this one revolution. So when the motor makes one round. So this is called one round. I will show it to you again. So when the motor makes one round, it's called a revolution. And so the number of revolutions that this motor makes in one minute is called RPM. So effectively, more current to your motor means higher is the speed and so higher is your RPM. And I will show you in the next lecture that more RPM means more lift. So that we'll be looking at the next lecture. So the controller controls the amount of current to each of these motors and based on which you can control how fast a drone will go up and down and the controller is also able to control whether the drone will go left or right and I will explain to you in the next lecture how a drone will go left and move right or front or back. We also call that pitch, roll and yaw. I will show you that in the next lecture. And the last part that we need to look at are your prop guards. And these prop guards are meant as a safety mechanism for your propellers because when you fly the drone, the drone will collide at different places. So you need to make sure that you protect these. So this is the basic construction of your drone. Now this helps you understand why each part is needed and what each part does. And now that the next time you will look at a drone, you should be able to identify each part and what it does, which is the motor, which is the propeller, what, which is the frame and which is your propeller guard. So I hope this lecture was clear for you guys. In the next lecture, we'll look at the concept of propellers and how propellers generate lift. So I'll see you guys in the next lecture. Thank you.